Our journey at AgriTechnica 2023 now brings us to the New Holland stand and I'm going to be talking here with Mr. Mark Howell who's going to be telling us about a new venture, that, some exciting news actually yeah, absolutely. in terms of the, the CNG tractor. Yeah, well you're very welcome of course, but here we have the preview of the new T7-270 CNG tractor. Right. So we've obviously shown the way with alternative fuels, we have the model farm here with the Benhaman solution where we're getting, shows how we get the fuel. Yeah. But from bringing the T6 180, right. which has been like a Swiss army knife. Mm -hmm. So it's good for municipal, it's good for farming, but what the demand from the market is, from the biogas plants, is for something heavier to pull the big slurry tankers, to pull the big um, silage trailers. Right. So what we looked at is, okay, how big, what sort of size are, are these customers buying? and we've brought you here. This is the T7-270 methane power tractor. So, and the T7-270, obviously we know that's a well-proven, very popular tractor in the New Holland Yeah, range. absolutely, yeah. So, and this is now taking all of the things that you learned on the T6 version. Yes. Beefed it up, made it bigger. Absolutely. And you've got it here. This is, this is the thing. So, and now, is this tractor currently available? When is it coming on the market? Do we know? Is it a concept yeah. still? No, so this is still, this is the prototype one, right. but it's in the field in the UK being tested now. Right. So it's probably a year away. Right. Um, but what we have here is instead of the, this is um, 260 rated power, 270 max power. There's no boost, it's all the power. It's what we consider, we've been speaking with the contractors, the biogas plants, right. and this, for this model, is pretty well there and there, you know, what they're after. So, whereas the T6 has 79 kilos of gas, including the range extender, this tractor has 100 kilos on the chassis. Right. So we've moved the battery, we've moved the mid mounts, we've opened up that right hand side to dedicate that to, to gas look. storage. So you don't, do you still offer a range extender on it? Or? Yeah, absolutely. So because this unit is, um, going to be used heavier. It's a T7. Yeah. We, we know the customer demands. They're more demanding. They want more for their money. Right. So the range extender will also carry 100. Okay. So when this tractor is fully specced, we will have 200 kilos of fuel. Of fuel. Hell. And that gives us um, six hours of heavy work, five, six hours of real heavy work like plowing. But it also gives the nine, the 10 hours of haulage that these guys will want for the first market, which is definitely going to be the biogas definitely going to be the slurry tankers, the digestate, the crop in and out. It's those guys who are saying, the T6 is great, but I need a physically heavier tractor. I can't have the trailer bossing me about, so we've come up with a proper unit. Now you said to me before we went on camera, you said that the response here has been overwhelming, particularly from the European, the German market. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And you said, what was the number you said? You said you, said you had hundreds of inquiries. Yeah, we right? have, absolutely. And, and the reason is, when you when you respond to a customer demand, the customers will come. So absolutely, they have they have turned up and we have been showing people round. The other novel thing we have here at Agritechnica is a ride and drive. So yeah. for those customers going, well, um, kind of New Holland proved to us it's like running like a diesel. You know, I'd like to try it, I'm curious, where can I try it? Rather than wait for a demonstrator, we've got it here on site. So here at Agritechnica, customers are invited to go and drive both the T6 and the T7 methane power tractors. Now, is the engine in this, is that the same engine, but with more power as in the T6? How does that, was it a completely different engine? I mean, same engine, yeah. twin injectors to get the gas flow, yep. um, bigger turbo, but in essence, it's, an, it's a 6.75, the same as the T6 that we launched before, with, with obviously spark plugs, yeah, 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 as yeah. we did before. Yeah, yeah, I can see. Transmission options, variations? Auto commands, yeah. as with the T7-270. Again, contractor machines, yeah, yeah. so we know what they're looking for. So it's it's in line with the T7-300 axles, yeah. and suspension system, and back axle. So radiator is all common. We don't want to change too much. It makes no, no, engineering very difficult. And it's and it, shift. Yeah, and also it, it starts taking the commonality away from the drivers. Oh, yeah. So with the T6, we did the electric command, then we did the dynamic command. The demand was for more, we want bigger and better, so we've gone straight in with the auto command on this. One model, make it simple. Right, so any variations in the tractor itself? So aside from the fact that I've got a spark ignition engine that runs on TNG, yeah. there's no other differences. I just... No, the power curve is different to the 270 because instead of it having um, 240 rated, 260, and then going up to 300. Right. We've just given up one 260 rated, 270 max, 
and you get all the power. Right. So we maxed out the engine and we said, right, here you go. And this is what we can do. And, and the benefit, of course, of CNG is you get a nice little bite from the exhaust. You do, <laughs> and it's, but it's also quieter. We've already got the quietest cab on the market yeah, and yeah. driving this is absolutely wonderful because the engine's smooth because it's a spark ignition engine. Yeah. So that coupled with the auto command, coupled with the quiet cab, you can go and drive. Go and drive for yourself as well you'll really hear and feel the difference the CNG engine coupled with this transmission makes. So, around the back of it then, all, so this is where your, your CNG your, your system all is. Where do you refuel it? Show me where you refuel it. Oh, refueling's on the other side. Oh, so, so, but for here, we have four dedicated tanks. So where on the T6, we still have steps, you can still open the door. Okay. Here we have four big, I mean, big, big dedicated tanks to enable us to get the most amount of gas on possible. Right, no and then if we go around the other side. We have bigger tanks again. Right. So we have a very big one because again, we looked, how can we maximize the fuel? You don't need to see, the visibility here is not as important as there. Okay. So the plow glass visibility to the window is, is guaranteed. So you can yeah. still see down, but we, we were able to take a bit more space here. Right. In here, is where we fill. So we have this door, same as the T6, and you have your pressure gauge and your filling, but Easy also things. we've moved the battery to this side so you've got it's better to access open up the space to the other side. Right. So there's been more engineering done on this one to optimize it for gas, whereas the other one was much more um, use what we have, bring it to market, and, and for that type of customer, the municipal customer, the the loader customer, that's doing really well, but this is really focused on that contractor um, haulage and, and other uh, sort of contracting activities. So, so it's just the next step. Now, so we've got this, this, this particular tractor here. What's, yep. the, what's the next step for New Holland with compressed natural gas tractors? Uh, well, outside we've got the prototype LNG unit. Right. So we're exploring LNG. The reason for LNG is liquid, which means we can get even more fuel on the vehicle. Right. Okay. Okay, no problem. Well, they, they have it. That is a sneak preview of what's happened here at, um, at AgriTech on the New Orleans stand. We've got lots more to come, so just keep watching.